And the very last question, thank you for the information. Um, is it possible to have your experience or any other information about the myths that um, of having inside help in order to get a job besides your skill? Um, well, maybe very quickly from my side, um, as you can see also on the slide, we have um, a next webinar in September, Network Your Way In. Um, it's basically about effective networking skills and how you, um, you know, what you can do, how you can network. Um, I often think, you know, networking, it really depends on the cultures. Um, a lot of, uh, for example, a lot of U.S. universities teach you how to network. Um, in, in, I would say in my, you know, in my country, networking is still a bit seen as the old boys club and um, comes with a, with a bad taste, but I think networking is extremely important. Um, I don't think um, that you, know, you cannot get a job at UN if you um, don't have insider, if you, have, if you don't have someone inside. Um, that's definitely a um, misconception. Um, I think it is possible, um, definitely possible to um, get land a job at UN without knowing anyone inside. I, I personally, um, I've started working for conference service while I was studying. I had um, very, um, very junior um, short-term um, roles and I didn't know anyone um, starting, um, starting there and um, yeah, managed to um, leave the UN um, and had a P3 and a P2 role there. So um, I think it, it really, um, it's, as I said, you know, there is no golden rule. Um, it's with a bit of luck. Um, of course, as always with any job, it helps if you have a network and if you know people, um, but um, it's certainly um, possible also to get a job at UN um, without having those contacts. Um, I mean, maybe some last words from your side before we end. Yeah, I think, um, again, I think as, as Stephanie said, this, I applied also to the UN when I didn't have any, I didn't know anybody there that would help me. And I think sometimes, of course, there's a bit of a myth about that, but obviously the UN recruitment process also gets audited. So there's something called the ILO, International Labour Organization. They basically audit that process. So there has to be, there has to be some trans, well, there has to be transparency in case anybody complains that they didn't get a particular position. So there is transparency, and I, I would always encourage to not to give up. One of my former colleagues actually applied to the UN for seven years before he got a position. So he never gave up. He just kept on applying, 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 applying. Um, again, just to summarize, it's actually quite rewarding. If, if you really want to be in a position where you want to help people, you want to give back what you already know, of course, enjoy the process as well, because I believe there should be some enjoyment in life, whether it's discovering different cultures, living in a different part of the world. I think it's a good opportunity, um, mid-career especially, to try working in an international organization, whether it's the United Nations or the World Bank or IMF or international NGOs. Some international NGOs do some very great work in, the, in, the, in developing countries as well. So I encourage you to continue applying and um, Thanks to UCC for this um, for this excellent opportunity, and they've got some very good. I can see very good seminars coming up. So I think the idea is just to build up your confidence, and I hope you got some lessons and tips from from our presentation today. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lamin, and thank you again for being our special guest today. It was an honor to have you here on this webinar and for sharing your insights and great advice. Um, yeah, it was really, really a pleasure having you. And thank you for, for all the participants to, who joined this webinar today. Um, um, yeah, I mean, this slide um, just gives you a bit of an overview of what we offer and do. Um, I just maybe end, want to end here. If you have any questions that weren't answered, if you want to have more specific advice um, for your career journey, um, we also offer advice via video where you can speak to a UN insider. It's a 45-minute personalized career session. So um, feel free to book that if you, um, if you just want to have your customized, specialized advice. And yeah, other than that, I wish you all the best and um, most importantly, stay safe and healthy. And thank you again, everyone. And special thanks again to Lamine. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thank Stephanie. you.